We're starting a new series today, and we're looking at a new book in the Bible. It's not a new book, it's been there for a while. But, to find this book, I need some helpers. I'm going to ask Uncle Warwick to come up. Shuffle that way for me. I like your clothesline, it's particularly good. It's great, yeah, it's Is fantastic. Is there any significance to it? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, all of God's people just woven together and uh, something. <laughs> I had something. Warwick's throwing me off. And I'll get Leanne to come on down. All right, so the book, the Bible is made up of many, many books. Thank you very much. Whoop. And so I wonder where this new book is. So we're looking at, or actually, does anyone know the book we're looking at? Revelation. Revelation. So we've done some books in the past. We've looked at Genesis. Genesis goes right at the very beginning and very beginning. Okay. And it starts, Genesis starts with what? What's, what happens at the very beginning of Genesis? Andy? Creation. Creation. And, and the first thing that's created, well, in the first few chapters we hear of this beautiful garden and this wonderful garden in Genesis. And then, what, what have we just finished looking at? was a series in the New Testament. Start, oh, Georgie. Matthew. And so we're looking, we looked at Matthew, and what did Matthew have in it? Lots about... Who's this guy? Jesus. Lots about Jesus. So Matthew is the start of the New Testament. It starts with the life of Jesus. So it's the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And at the very end, and just after, Jesus goes to heaven. So where does Revelation sit? Somewhere on this line. Who can, who can take a guess? Sage? At the... No? At the, at the very end. So it is the last book in the Bible. Does that mean it comes last in the order of things? Yeah? <laughs> A bit of this going on. It is the very last book in the Bible, at the very back of the Bible, but it's also at the very end of God's story. And so I've got a few, I've got a friend here. This is John. John, he wrote Revelation because God said, I've got something that I want to share with my people. And so you need to send something to my people. And so John sends a letter. Now, what happens in letters? People write... And they say, what do the people write in letters? Oh, actually, I'm speaking to a generation who have possibly never received a letter. <laughs> Email, tweet. <laughs> letters, often people write letters to encourage people. And so God's given John a vision of what's happening in the world and a vision of what is to come. And so John writes a letter to seven churches to encourage them and, I think, to challenge them as well. And so we're going to be looking at Revelation over the next 10 weeks, looking at how God has won the victory now and will win the final victory to come. That's exciting, isn't it? Yes, Daniel. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, so... Before we head to our sheets, 
You've got your normal sheets, and there's a memory verse sheet for you. Okay? And then there's this one. Now, our kids love drawing pictures. Okay? So we would love you guys to draw what you hear from the Bible reading. Okay? There's a little description. And this description today is about Jesus. Okay? So see if you can draw what Jesus looks like. Okay? It could be very interesting. It'd be great to see them, okay? Great. <laughs> All right, let me pray, and then you guys can grab some grab your sheets. Dear God, thank you that you gave John a vision of what is and what is to come. And thank you for the hope that we hear in the book of Revelation, how Jesus has won the victory over evil and will one day restore everything to its rightful place. Amen. Amen.